Hi guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick video here. This is gonna be something a little bit, a little bit different. I have a Canon EOS R7, which I was having problems with, and that's one of them right there. <laughs> so let me turn that back on. Okay, so, and there's another one right there. I'm gonna show you how to set it up to stream so that the timer doesn't come off, the marks aren't on the screen, this low res doesn't come off. We're gonna set it all, all up here <laughs> live. So I hope we can do this. So first things are, on the top of your camera, you want to, I'm gonna turn this around now so you're not gonna be able to see me. We'll face you towards the wall. So first things first, on the top of the camera, you're going to want to change it to program. This is going to give you some more settings than, than normal. And then if you're plugged into the computer, next you want to do is you want to hit your menu button. Let me move my mic a little bit here. Hopefully you can still hear me. So once you're in this, you're at the top in P for program and you're in this menu, it's going to give you some extra options. I'm going to fast forward so it doesn't cut off to the one of the most important ones, which is the battery. So if you go to the power saving settings here, you want to make sure that you take all of these and set them to disabled. Because if you don't, then the viewfinder is going to shut off almost immediately and you can't use it as a streaming uh, implement. So once you have that set, this will keep the screen pretty much going full time for you with one exception. If you have it plugged in to HDMI, it's still gonna shut off at 30 minutes. And I was finding when this was shutting off at 30 minutes that it was very unusual the reason why is the camera wasn't shutting off once I turned it and it waited 30 minutes. It was shutting off at exactly 30 minutes when I started recording. So the camera was recognizing that it was attached to OBS and I'd have to hit the record button and it was shutting off at 30 minutes. So I'm going to show you how to solve that problem today and how to get these this stuff off the screen. So for this basic stuff, you can just hit the info button. And once you hit it three or four times, it'll clear the screen like this. But you're still going to get some autofocus. Let me see. Let me turn it around. You're still going to get some autofocus stuff here. And you want to get rid of all this autofocus stuff, right? So let's take care of that next. So you're going to hop back into your menus. And we're going to switch over here and we're going to go to your autofocus. And we are looking for subject detect. We're going to take the people and we're going to make it off. And we're going to eye detection disable. And then when you go back into this function here, You'll see that you can still get autofocus when you hit the autofocus button, but you're not going to get those eye detection stuff. Okay, so that's off. So now the viewfinder is shutting off, and the um, all the stuff's removed from the screen, but you're going to still get that 30 minutes. That's probably why you're here. So let's work on that next. So. Let's go back in the menu here and let's start at the beginning now that I have time that the camera won't shut off. And we'll go through all the settings. So if you're here, I record in 4K fine. It's probably more than you need. I'm doing the 29.97 frames, but you could probably do FHD and be fine. Um, I wouldn't recommend the 4K crop because it's going to give you some black windows and then you got to probably do the IPB. But I don't have high frame rates. 
you can, I guess you can enable the high frame rates. Uh, this stuff you can pretty much leave how it is. You can mess around with balance if you want. It's not necessary. The autofocus will take care of most of that. Um, self timers you want off, remote control disabled. Stabilizer mode, you can auto level, you can turn that on. It's still going to work. It's not going to give you any bars or whatever. It's not going to shut off the camera. Um, reverse display. Now, this is where, it's, where it gets important. You want to make sure that standby low resolution is off because what will happen is when that low resolution signals to the camera kicks in, it'll actually change your autofocus and sometimes shut off the screen. And this is the next important one. You want this to be on camera to computer. That's what's shutting off after 30 minutes when you're recording. So now that it recognizes that you're actually recording and it's going to a computer, it's going to keep that screen going on the computer and it's going to bypass that 30 minutes. It's going to recognize as a recording, even if you're just using it as a viewfinder and you're not actually recording on the camera. When it's, when it's off of this, when this is, when you have this on just this right here, it's going to try to record just to the, the card inside your camera and it's going to shut your shutter off. So this is the one right here that you want to switch. Next, and I might even be getting this right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm just thinking about this. This might be double recording and I might be getting an echo. And the reason I might be getting an echo is because I have enabled the camera to record audio right now. So you need to go in and you need to go, I forget where it is. This stuff can all stay there. HD, you want to change the output to on. Wi Fi, Bluetooth, settings, video. We want to turn the beep off, disabled. Headphones can stay. Power saving, we already did that. I got a feeling that the camera is also recording with its microphone and you're getting an echo. Uh, sensor cleaning, I like to actually auto clean. Let's keep going here. Where's the, where is the, where is the, where is the, the microphone? I forget. Uh oh. Let's go back here. Oh, maybe it's in the, Movie size, auto, picture style. I'm going to have to record, re redo this because you're probably getting an echo right now. Because I need to turn the camera. Oh, wait, I have it on mute for OBS, so maybe it's removing it. So I shouldn't panic as much, but I still need to find it for you guys. Eye detection, switch tracking, subject tracking. Scream at your screen right now so that I can hear you if you see the audio. <laughs> Focus. I, I know it's in here. Cropping. Slideshow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is much longer than I want it to be. Maybe I'll re-record this for you guys. I bet you I passed it. <laughs> oh, sound recording disabled. Okay. So it's so I already have it disabled. Perfect. So it's right there in the beginning. Um, 
you just want to make sure that you have that sound recording off as well. All right. So if you have all that stuff, and let me hit the menu now, set on, you should be in a situation where, and I'm not editing any of this. <laughs> so maybe you already got, where you can just reach forward, hit this autofocus from the back, make sure your autofocus is on the front, and make sure that's all turned on. And you're going to get a screen like this where you can record. So, all right. So we are 10 minutes in. Really quick video. Probably could have made it quicker, but I hope that helps. I know it helps somebody. I know somebody's going to comment under this and be like, thank you so much. Nobody has made a video on this in a long time, maybe two years, and my camera was doing the same thing. So you're welcome.